I do sincerely believe that there currently is undergoing a harvest, a, a great culling of humanity, a separation of the wheat from the chaff, to use a biblical phrase, but essentially a separation between lower forms of consciousness, higher forms of consciousness, lower density frequencies, higher density frequencies, and this, this culling, this harvest, this separation is essentially creating a division in humanity between those who value their life and are seeking to preserve their own life, to expand their consciousness, to cherish their consciousness. In a sense, take care of what they have been gifted with from on high. These human genetic vehicles are, are amazing bits of bioengineered organic machinery, these human space suits, these monkey suits, these flesh suits, these containers for soul. Anyway, I want to touch upon <clears throat> your life, consciousness, your survival, because there are many things currently at work, at play, that are seeking to separate you, your consciousness, from this vehicle and send you on your way to harvest you, to exploit your energy, to harvest your energy, your consciousness, to control your consciousness. There's a war on consciousness. But I want to create the message, the intent, the energy. I want to send the energy to you, dear esteemed viewer. <clears throat> That's if you stayed with this video so far with all the mic feedback. Anyway, I'll talk to my technical engineers a little later about that. But I want to impress upon you, if you are currently still alive, among all the things that have taken place and are going to take place in the days ahead. Get in a place where you truly value your survival. And it's not in the fashion of being a survivalist or, you know, a prepper and all that stuff. All that, although those things do count somewhat, but it's not the way forward because this is about your consciousness your survival of your consciousness and the quality of your consciousness and in furtherance thereof I'm going to share some of this and I know this person in particular has a nefarious reputation with his Scientology and Dynetic, but this book in particular there's a lot of just good solid information for a person to to um, exploit to learn from but anyway <clears throat> Conceiving this, the split as a line drawn through the area, we can assign a dynamic principle of existence to all that data remaining in the knowable field. Now, this is just kind of gobbledygook, but after exhaustive research, one word was selected as embracing the finite universe as a dynamic principle of existence. This word can be used as a guide or a measuring stick and and by it can be evaluated much information. It is therefore our first and controlling axiom, truth, bedrock of truth, foundational truth. The first axiom is survive. Survive. And this can be seen to be the lowest common denominator of the finite universe. It embraces the conservation of energy and all forms of energy. And this goes on, but the purpose of the mind, the purpose of your consciousness, is to solve problems re relating to survival. And <clears throat> I mentioned uh, Zoroastrianism and their concept of what God is. I've talked about what God is. It's your awareness, it's your consciousness. And survive, the primary purpose of your mind well, 
one of the basic purposes, the first purpose, the axiom, the first truth is related to your survival. And if you are not valuing, valuing your life and your cautiousness, and if you're living in a sinful way where you're putting in jeopardy your cautiousness, now granted, there is some amount of exploration that can, you know, people can go through to experience life and all that, but ultimately, if you committing the same mistakes you're not observing the first axiom which is the survival of your consciousness and all life is precious all life is precious for the fact that it lives and life is existing against all odds and life grows and develops following a course a progression love is will and love creates emotion energy in motion love is everything in this world god source is the supreme being the morphogenetic field of consciousness the divine grid programmer god is the supreme being that which represents true pure all-powerful love the light that binds and unites the universe in its creation and destruction. God is the caution. God is the awareness. God is the mind at the center of all life. When you put love and light into life, which is God, the spirit of that life is eternal. Now the devil is a name given to the path that leads to harming one another and the self against the natural order and promoting the belief that one can live without love you cannot exist without love that is the devil that is what evil is it is everything that is seeking to destroy your consciousness which is your divinity drugs a lifestyle that is focused on materialism where that is seemingly all that you're using this wonderful consciousness for is to just get more trinkets and, and, and all that. That is a waste of consciousness. That is war on consciousness. That is the devil. That is evil incarnate. And that is where we are at in this end time. That is the antichrist current. That is the devil. Now love is even in what is considered evil, however. For it to exist as the love in evil Manifest the demons of jealousy, demons of misery, greed, pain, and grief. The power to create is in love. I've mentioned Basamazulu Baba Kredu Mutwa a few times, made a few videos about this great saint. And one of the one of the lessons I vividly recall from the from Kredu Mutwa is he talks about creative people and that is the way that we individuals worship God, source, creation by being creative in whatever manner, whatever way, whatever capacity you have to be creative that is how you worship, truly worship God because the power to create is in love and the power to destroy is in love all is from the mind of God it's easy to divide reality and good and evil, and, but keep in mind, dark workers, light workers, everybody plays their role. There are certain souls here that are incarnated to experience very specific certain things. Uh, I recall, I've watched, uh, I still keep up with Ismael Perez. I have his book, the Cosmic, uh, Cosmic, Our Cosmic Origins, but Ismael Perez, the last video I watched from him, uh, uh, somebody had put in the comments, like Ismail, uh, because if I don't know, if many people know this, but apparently Ismail Perez, his wife, has an illness, and I don't know the details, I've never really looked into it, uh, but anyway, he apparently he takes care of his wife, he, she has a type of illness, I don't know any other details, but somebody had put in the comment section to Ismail, Oh, hey, Ismail, why don't you get your wife in one of these med beds that everybody's always talking about that you're talking about and get her cured? Well, my thought to that was there are 
certain souls have incarnated with certain life parameters to experience those parameters, to experience being ill, being sick, to experience things. And it's all ultimately for your soul's growth, for your energetic, for beyond the veil and the higher dimensions. It is all of this experience in this harmonic universe number one equates to your soul side journey, your passage. So that's one thing to consider. So dark workers, light workers, good, evil, ultimately this is all in the mind of God. And people have their soul path and um, their journey. I've explored the other side. I've lived where I was not valuing my life or consciousness. Trust me, I've been to the very lowest depths of where one could live. I've been through it. I've experienced all of that that I wish to in this incarnation. And now for the remainder of this incarnation is my intent to spread gnosis, to spread light, to unite humanity in the law of one, in the unity principle of the, under the children of light and battle evil. That is my mission because the power to create is in love and the power to destroy is in love. To live for yourself alone outside of love is union with greed. That is service to self. And I know definitely beyond any shadow of a doubt, my gnosis includes the fact that the dark side, the evil side, those seeking service to self, they become imprisoned under a very harsh hierarchy of servitude. I know it for a fact. <clears throat> I broke free from that servitude. I touched my divine source connected fractal of God within. The kundalini serpent power coursed through my being, burned all falsehood, it aligned all of my intentions, all of my energetic centers, put them in alignment and I said my oath to the creator to serve the creator to be in service to humanity that is the ultimate that is the ultimate path towards the light you can explore the other side but I can tell you cool Satan per people all you cool Satanists that think that you're living it up and you're living your life whoa, 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 whoa. yeah we're just gonna we're gonna do what we want ultimately you are in servitude you're in bondage to your flesh, you're in bondage, ultimately to your master, Hasatan. As the love of God is in all life, the natural state of unity in all life is to love all life, to love your life, to value your life in your consciousness. So there is a very real agenda at this point particular stage in the game, this Manvantara at this depth of the Kali Yuga. I, I believe we're seeing the light. I believe people are, more people are awakening. The power of consciousness is multiplying, is amplifying. More people are beginning to value their life. I live in a particularly rough area of town. I, I still see a lot of a lot of people living in, in servitude to Hasatan, in darkness. And, but that is my mission, is to bring the light. To bring the light in the very most dangerous, darkest areas. To be the light. To master the lower energies, the darker energies. And put forth the light of consciousness. That is what this temple of Umbanda, this temple of sound is all about here in this particular light sector this particular area is to bring the light, to manifest the light, to amplify the light, and to send the message to everyone who is conscious right now to value your conscious, to value your life, to never give up, to never turn your back away from the light, to continuously manifest the light and walk towards the light, and to hit that subscribe button and leave this video a thumbs up, and stay tuned for further information dissemination broadcast from the Umbanda New Earth Astrum for compassion, strength, and the spiritual sciences as we all walk towards the light collectively as children of the light in servitude to the law of one and the creator.